Hey everybody, here's an update on the garden up front. These are the Roselle or the Jamaican hibiscus. And they're at that point now where here we are in the getting towards the end of September that they're starting to flower. So if you'll notice down here, they make a poppy kind of flower. They're a member of the, uh, kind of like an okra in some cases, I guess. But they're starting to make the flower. And when they make the flower, they also make these pods here. These pods will get bigger, and that's what you can use to dry and make tea or to uh, cook them down and make jelly. But these have been going on since about May, and you can see how they get really big, right? They kind of get big like a, a nice shrub wall. And they make that nice fall flower that you can see. The flowers bloom in the morning, and then they close up by the afternoon, right? And they last a couple days. But what we're really looking forward to is when these pods get bigger. And then we come out here and harvest them. And it makes for a real nice, like I say, dried for your tea or cooked down into jelly. So it has uh, medicinal purposes and food purposes. But it's interesting in how big the plant gets and how once it hits cool weather, September, October, it just springs into the flower mode and all that and gets tall. And this is the second year I've grown them here and it's a, a nice hedge. Uh, sometimes they can get even bigger and taller, but I need to have a little bit better ground in the bottom where it's still a little clay. I still don't have the depth for the roots to get out there, but um, they get better and better every year. So this is kind of where I've created this like flower wall this hedge of of roselle or jamaican hibiscus you can try growing it they won't last cold weather frost kills it for sure but as soon as you get warm weather put the seeds in you might have to protect them from the rabbits or animals that will eat the young plants but if you can get them past the uh, young stage then they'll just grow on their own and they'll get as tall as high as as, as you know the dirt and everything allows you know the nutrients you might sometimes have to cut them back sometimes what i like to do is the bottom branches like this i'll cut them just so that the plant can get more growth going towards the top but it's still there'll still be some uh, lower lateral shoots that come out so you can make it a bush or a shrub or however you want to do it but uh grow this uh, you'll get a lot of comments from people who uh, will ask you it's like when neighbors are walking they'll be like what is that plant what are those red things because it's not something that's commonly grown in unless you come from the caribbean or some of those areas you don't know what this is anyway so it makes for a conversation piece where your neighbors will stop by and say hello and ask you about what that plant is and what are you doing we've had you know amazon delivery people and others who will just say what is that because it's such a unusual kind of conversational plant that, like I say, you can't buy it in the store. You don't go to your Lowe's and buy it. You have to get the seeds. Where do you get the seeds? Well, these pods will make seed pods, and you just wait and grow them next year. Now, the big thing about these is that the seed pods, and you can see some of the flowers here dropped already. Uh, but the seed pods, uh, they're really tough to grow what I did to start the seeds rather than put them in dirt and then let them sprout I actually put them on a damp paper towel and let them sprout that way and then put the sprouted seeds in dirt it seems like uh, that's the best way I found out to uh, to make them grow looks like there's a dragonfly here in the morning uh, coming to sit on the leaf but anyways that's the update here for our Roselle we will talk to you again later with more garden updates.